Hi Gary Vee Builder here. Today I wanted to talk about cleaning your double strainer. Um, now this is something that a lot of us use for straining out honey. Um, and I've just actually finished straining out some of my honey that I had um, to harvest. So um, the problem is that the first time I used this, it was a huge pain because I didn't know how to clean it. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it and see if this helps anyone. So to start out, um, it has a lot of these wax clippings in here. So it's not recommended that you actually clean it in, in your sink. Um, it's best if you do it in a bucket or outside um, so that the wax doesn't go down your drain. But it can coat your pipes and really cause havoc. So today I'm going to go ahead and clean it in this bucket here. To start out, I like to rinse it with hot water. Um, and that just kind of cleans the honey off of it. It doesn't do much for the uh, wax, but it does kind of get the stickiness off. So I'll go ahead and do that now. rinsed off um, it makes it a lot easier but you can still see that it has a lot of the little particles of wax in there and they're really difficult to get rinsed out with the hot water so um, the first time I did this I tried everything to get this clean I really did I tried boiling it I tried <laughs> just all kinds of things that made a mess okay so now that I've got all the honey white cleaned off of the double strainer I'm going to show you how I get the wax and propolis off so I actually came upon this method kind of by accident. What I did was I ended up, when I first started rendering wax, I used my double strainer to help me strain out my wax clippings. I mean, it just ended up being a mess and I, I all but ruined my double strainer. And I was really worried about it. So I came upon this way, but method of cleaning it up. But the, the neat thing is that now, um, even when I'm just using it for honey harvesting, um, I still find it effective for cleaning it up. So here you can see I've got my two strainers and I lay them on the gravel so that um, there's nothing around that can burn them. Um, and here I have just a weed burner or a propane torch. Um, now this is really easy. Um, we all know that wax is flammable so I just light it on fire and let it burn. And you'll see how quick and easy it works. Once it starts burning, you know that the wax is gone and that it's clean. It really takes very little heat to burn it off. Um, and like you, said, like you saw, it only took about 10 seconds of burning it for it to just burn away all the wax to where it won't burn anymore. And at first I was worried about the integrity of my, my screen, but I've done it several times and it seems to be holding up really well. Um, so this is a really nice method and you can avoid a lot of the scrubbing. And as you can see, it really has gotten 100% of the propolis and honey out of the screens so that it can be used properly. Um, so it is a very, very effective way to clean it up. Well, that first method is obviously the easiest option. Some people don't have access to a weed burner or there's certain tools that we have that you just can't start on fire. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a second method that I use so to sometimes clean my double strainer. And what I've found out that actually works the best is actually to run it through cold water and just use a little scrub brush. Um, it seems kind of productive to use cold water, but what it does is the cold water will actually harden the wax better to where it'll just kind of flake off um, rather than melting it into the screen. So let's go ahead and give it a try. majority of the water of the wax off of it um, there's still propolis on there and it's just so difficult to get off but I, what I really like to use is just some rubbing alcohol um, so we'll go ahead and give it get it scrubbed up and see if we can get some of the sticky knots off of it. Let's just get a nice scrubbing and I'll take it and just dump some alcohol in it and use it to rub over it. That'll just really get the propolis out of the way.
if you liked that movie and you'd like to check out some of my other ones, please feel free to subscribe to my channel um, on YouTube. It's really for educational purposes. I'm glad I got my strainers cleaned and I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, this is the Backyard Bee Builder and hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.